Hey, what is up? My name is Chris. This is the second in three short videos on how to set up your own custom light dark mode theme with CSS variables. Now I've got this finished code up here at codinginpublic.dev and you can check it out. There'll be a link in the description. It by default will play with whatever your default system theme is, so light mode or dark mode. And if I come over here and change this to dark mode, you see it shows up here in dark mode. If I change back to light mode, it goes to light mode. Today we're going to work on that custom default behavior, and then next time we'll make it to where you can click this little button and it will play a little sound effect and change it uh, manually if you'd rather do it that way. So you can go against the kind of the grain of whatever your default is on your system. If you want to follow along with the code today, you can go to lesson two here and make sure you've selected that branch, and then you can come in here to the code and download that zip, or you can clone the whole thing and navigate to lesson two if you'd prefer to do it that way. Now, it's not going to be a long video today because all we're going to do is set it up to where when they're preferring dark mode, we set certain colors, and when they prefer light mode, we set certain other colors. So we've got a few steps to take care of here. The first one is we actually need to declare all of these once again in the root, except this time we want them to be for text, and we're going to change it to text-dark or text-light. So I'll come in here and say dash dark. I selected all those by selecting the colons and hitting command D till it grabbed all those and then just backspaced and added dark to each of them. Now in light or dark mode, all of these are gonna stay the same and the shadow is gonna stay the exact same, which means we only actually need to change three of these values to update what it'll look like. And this first one I have set at 217 and then I have it set at 54.2 and then finally at 88%. If I can type, <laughs> all right, and then we'll come in here. Uh, this HSL uh, will be 218, and then 50 or 15.4, and then finally I have it set at 10.2. All right, one more to change, and then you don't have to watch me type numbers anymore. So 218, this is now 14.7, and then finally uh, 18.7. Okay, so those should all be updated. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write some media queries. Let's start with a dark mode media query. We're just gonna say media prefers a color scheme and that color scheme is dark. And whenever they prefer the color scheme inside this media query here, we're gonna declare the root again like this. And then what, all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all of these, let's see. Um, what we want to do is point this variable that's used throughout the document to this variable that we just set up. So it's probably easiest actually to type this. We'll say text is now going to be equal to var text dark, just like we would do down below in the rest of the document. Now I can actually copy this down and using that same technique where I select the first one, hit command D, I can now come in here and say accent of one, and we want it to be set to accent one dark. Same thing here, I'll select that one and grab two. Same thing here, I'll grab the two and set those both to three. And same thing here and grab the accent and set this to back round of one. Copy this down, you see how fast this goes with some keyboard shortcuts. And then finally, uh, I'll come down here and grab this and change this to shadow. Now if I change my machine to dark mode here, uh, you'll see it automatically updates and everything looks just like it should. So it's really quick and easy to get started. Now. Right now, there's just light and dark mode. It's just set off the, this media query. But just to make this as versatile as possible, and I'll show you next time how we would do that, let's go ahead and do the same thing here, except we're going to update these to be for light mode as well. So I'm going to come in here and say on light mode, I want this to be set to background light or text light. Now, if I change this back to light mode, you'll notice that it kind of breaks. And that's because we actually haven't created these variables. But what we can do is come up here and uh, change these right here. So I'm gonna grab these columns here. We're gonna change these to say light, just like that. And now whenever we're in dark mode, it's pointing to these variables. Whenever we're in light mode, it's now pointing to these variables. And just like that, it's based off of the system that the user has chosen. It'll choose either dark mode or it will choose light mode. The next time we're gonna show you how you can create a little toggle where they can manually go against the grain of whatever they've chosen as their default on their system. Well, in the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.